tell you, Zadia got another problem. I got told you Zadia has another problem. I told you guys last week, Zadia's style is to push away men and then chase after them and pull them back. Now, we see who she done called back, this Ramon guy. Now she in the chasing mode of Ramon. Did Ramon say he wanted to come back? Did Ramon go up to Meek and say, hey, Tamika, I really want to get with Zadia. Can I have a chance to talk to her and go on a date? Can you ask her? No. Zadia chased, chased after Ramon. That's who she chased after. And then when he comes and he goes on this date and plays pool and he says, touch me right here, or do this right here. What does Zadia say? No, I ain't going to touch you. It's the same old routine, y'all. I told you I can't stand her dating technique. It's the same old routine. It's the same old routine. No, I'm not going to touch you, touch you. That's what this is a game Zadia plays all day long. It's the push and pull game. The push and pull game. Push you away, and then when you go away, I pull you closer. But then when you come back closer, I push you away again. So Zadia, you went over, recruited this man. Says you want enough. You want to climb tall trees, Zadia. You horny again, Zadia. Come on closer. And when he does come on a date, and he asks you to touch him right here or do this, I no, I'm not gonna do this, girl. You ain't demure. You uh, Zadia. You're not conservative. You done slept with Cameron on the first date. <laughs> And now you can't even touch a man on his waist. Get out of here, Zadia. I think Zadia thinks this, this is flirting. I think, Zod, I think this is what Zadia thinks for flirting, and it's not flirting. It's really sad to see. I actually believe Zadia thinks this is flirting, but like I told y'all before, Zadia got the worst uh, flirting game in town. Y'all think she's going to fumble Cameron? Because Cameron's a good guy. I like Cameron. And my answer is yes, Zadia's going to fumble Cameron. She's going to fumble Cameron. Because she don't even know how to play the game. There have been so many times when Cameron has tried to lean, lean into Zadia and Zadia pushes him away. I told y'all last week when he tried to put his hand, her, his hand on her waist, she said, why are you touching me like that? This episode, they were sitting on the couch. It was a moment when he leaned in and he gave uh, uh, Zadia a kiss on the cheek. I think he was trying to maybe even give her a kiss on the ear or on her neck or something. And Zadia was like, okay, okay, stop with all that. I was like, Zadia, you already slept with the man. What's the problem? She don't know how to flirt. When you really know how to draw a man in and a man comes on to you and wants to kiss your cheek or your ear, a man you want, you don't push him away, girl. You lean your neck a little bit like this and make sure he can get a real piece of that neck. <laughs> You don't say, no, that's enough. You know, you give him what he wants. You draw him in closer. You give him a little bit more of that ear to nibble on. You give him a little bit more of that neck to kiss, a little bit more of that cheek. But what does Zadia do? Come on over here so I can push you away. Girl, even when she went on this date with Cameron, I told y'all Zadia is bossy. She's bossy. She thinks flirting is giving orders. That's why I tell you her game is weak. She thinks flirting is giving orders. Y'all remember when she was sitting on that date and they was doing the painting or the arts and crafts? And they was, you know, um, Cameron was telling her everything uh, that she wanted to hear. One of the things Azadi said was, are you generous? Are you generous? Do you like to give? And um, Cameron had a wonderful answer. He's saying all the good things. He said, I sure do. He says, I like to take care of people. I like to be generous. I like to give. He says he's a thoughtful person. And Zadia said, oh, yeah, I pick up on that because I haven't had to get up and get nothing at this table. You've given me everything. But let me tell you where Zadia goes wrong. You know what Zadia does when she's at the table and they're doing the arts and crafts? What she says to Cameron is, give me the red one. Hand me the red one. Hand me the red color. Hand me the blue color. It's orders. It's orders. But a real woman who knows how to flirt to make the man feel like he's doing something for you, but you're not telling him what to do because what Zadia is doing is she's telling Cameron, give me the red one, give me the blue one, give me the yellow one. But a woman that knows how to flirt says, oh, I like what I'm painting here. I like my arts project. You know what? I think this would, I think I really would love to have some red on my canvas. That's what you say. You say, oh, God, I want to put some, I want to add some red. I want to add some color. That's what you say. It's a suggestion. It's not an order. Then what you do is you wait for that man to say, you want some red? Let me give you the red. Let me give you the yellow. Let me give you the green. 
Y'all get the difference? You get the difference between an order and a suggestion. You get the difference the way it makes a man feel when you say, give me the red, give me the blue versus I would love to have some yellow in my canvas, some red, some color. That's like being in a store in a mall or whatever and saying, oh, buy me this purse. Ordering the man to buy you something versus saying, oh, my God, that bag is beautiful. That bag is gorgeous. And then next thing you know, you at home and that bag shows up at your house. Next thing you know, that bag shows up at your door, but you never told that man, buy me that bag. Zadia don't know how to flirt. That's why she's going to fumble Cameron. I'm telling you right now, Zadia is going to fumble Cameron. Zadia presents well in the beginning. She's enough for men to keep coming close to her because she presents well. She's a good looking woman. She's got a nice body. But after a while, men get tired of Zadia's orders. And Zadia wants a generous man, but Zadia don't know how to give. Zadia called her a traditionalist millennial. Traditional millennial. You know what that is? You know what a traditional millennial means? It means I want the independence of a millennial woman, but I want the tradition of, of a man, which means I want to do what the hell I want to do, but I want you to provide like a traditional man. Like I said, Zadia wants to give orders, provide for me, but I still want to be able to do what I want to do. She going to fumble Cameron. Do you think Cameron wants to be a provider and protector of Zadia and Zadia already here talking about she don't even want to give a baby? She don't even want to give a baby. You think part of, you think part of Cameron's plan is to be a provider of, of, of Zadia and Zadia don't have to do nothing? That's what Zadia, that's what Zadia is talking about. Talking about she wants to give to. Give what? What are you talking about? What are you giving, Zadia? We haven't heard nothing. Even when she was sitting down with Sharice. Let me tell you, when you when Sharice is the bigger person, when the Sharice is the one giving and, and, and apologizing to you, you know you low on the totem pole when it comes to giving. You low on the totem pole when it comes to giving. Because even when Sharice came to Zadia to apologize and say, let's squash this. I'm sorry, whatever. What does Zadia do? Well, I just need to talk about it some more and tell you the things you said. She couldn't even let it go. She couldn't even let it go. She still had to instruct. She still had to instruct Sharice. She had to get the last word. She had to boss Sharice around just a little bit more. Even when Sharice humbled herself and came to her and said, hey, let's squash it. Was, was Zadia a humble receiver in that moment? Was Zadi a humble receiver of the apology? No, because Zadi is not humble. She's arrogant. That's why she instructs. She does want to receive, but she wants to receive what she wants, and she wants to instruct you to give it to her, and she wants to tell you how to give it to her. That's why she's going to fumble Cameron. She's going to fumble him, because if he's a generous giver, if Cameron really is that person, he don't want to be instructed on what to do. You ain't his boss. You can't tell him what to do all the time. Zadia going to fumble him. I tell you that right now. If there's a woman out there, be ready to pick up the fumble of Zadia. This is like football. You, you ever know a football running back who always fumbles? <laughs> always fumbles. All you got to be is nearby to pick up the ball because they're going to fumble the ball and that's going to be Zadia. Zadia gets the ball a lot. She does. People hand her the ball, but she fumbles it all the time, and she's going to fumble Cameron. She's going to fumble, and we already seen it happen next week. Did y'all see the previews? Did y'all see the previews when somebody said, are you willing to move to Houston or something, and, and, or are you going to willing to move for Zadia? And the, and the camera said, I know Zadia going to need to move to the South. And did you see the way Zadia looked? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, Zadia. So you want him to be a provider, protector, to do all this stuff, to be a generous man, but you don't want to move to where he is. So he's supposed to pick up his life, move to where you are, be a provider, protector, and do everything for you. I told y'all. I told y'all. Cameron said he ready to set Zadia up for the soft light so she can be useful to others, including him. Ain't gonna happen, Cameron. Ain't gonna happen. Not one bit. Not one bit. Setting Zadi up in the soft life 
you ain't gonna get nothing in return for that. Nothing in return. You're gonna be paying a whole lot of money and you're gonna get pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar. Telling you that right now. He talking about he wanna fill her up and fill her up for what? She don't have no kids. She just said maybe one. She want to live the soft life and receive all these benefits of the soft life. But what she's saying is, I really don't want to give no kids. I don't want to do nothing. Who are you going to give to, Zadia? Who are you going to give to? You ain't giving to him. You ain't going to give to no kids. Who are you giving to? Just people out in the street, strangers in the street. Well, you could be doing that now. When people say they're a giver, ask them who they're giving to right now. Where they're not getting nothing in return. Ask them right now who they give to, who they volunteer for. Where do they, what do they do? Where do they go? Ask them some questions. People don't just all of a sudden become givers. Don't believe it. Zadi is not a giver. Zadi is a receiver. She wants a man that's a giver, but Zadi is a receiver. Because anytime people want to give her something, Zadi thinks she deserves it. She's not a humble receiver. She, she, she thinks you should be doing it. She expects it. She doesn't say thank you. I keep telling you this kind of stuff. She's not grateful. You're not going to get no appreciation for it. And if Cameron really is this generous person, it's going to wear out. It's going to wear thin. It's going to go good in the beginning. It's going to go good in the beginning. And after a while, he's going to realize he's giving, 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 and he ain't getting shit in return. It's going to end. It's going to end. But she, gonna, she kept Cameron. Of course she's going to keep Cameron because she ain't going to go over there to that other Ramon guy with the 17 cats. <laughs> 17 cats. Oh, good Lord. We talk about the cat lady. They need to start talking about the cat man. <laughs> 17 cats. Oh, my allergies would be on a thousand. A thousand. I probably couldn't even stand next to him. My allergies are so bad with cats. You could have a cat at home and come stand right next to me. And I say, you must got a cat because my allergies is already flaring up. I can, <laughs> I can feel it in my throat. <laughs>